yourself uh, just uh, pick first class and smoking. It's called a Super Express and I have no idea why it's called a Super Express because it lacks certain features. It doesn't have a snack bar. Uh, it doesn't uh, have a... Uh... This train is going to Osaka! And by the way, Stéphane Dion, speaking of dogs, was so committed to the Kyoto Accord that he named his dog, what else? Amazing thing, uh, isn't it? Wow. One thing's for sure in Tokyo Station, leave yourself lots and lots and lots of time because it's like a mini city. Uh, I finally found the north exit and uh, that's where the Shinkansen tracks, the bullet train tracks are that I want, track number 17, uh, the train that goes to uh, Kyoto and that's called the Tokaido Line. The Tokaido I bought my discount ticket to the Shinkansen bullet train right here at travel agency JR Tokyo Tours. Uh, paid 9,500 yen for it. Uh, a ticket that would have cost 13,500 at the official JR ticket office. Shinkansen tickets. And uh, on Tuesday morning right here is where the tracks are, or the entry to the tracks. tickets you cannot put them in, into the automatic readers you have to go through the agent that's there Let's see how it works okay, my train is now up there number 17 train number 649 uh, at 10:56. track 17 to Kyoto I hope My train has uh, just arrived and uh, the ladies in pink are just itching to get in there and uh, clean it up for the next uh, crew group, that would be me. Right on the minute we pull out of uh, Tokyo Station, what else would you expect?
if you want to see scenery, you know, this is this might not be the train for you. Since uh, I was not given any choice of seats, but I guess if you ask for it, you could get a window. No, uh, no information as to where the train stops, which would be useful. It's in every German train. I have a coupon for uh, for a drink, and uh, I'm trying to find a, a dining car or a snack car or something. There are no indications, no signs, but hey, it's time for a walk anyway. If you want a car to yourself, uh, just uh, pick first class and smoking. First class has about a 30 to 40 percent premium on it. First class cars are called green cars. Two seats across instead of five. Urinals in a train. There are vending machines, uh, and drinks are relatively cheap at about $1.50, but they are half quantities. This is about half a can. And uh, we even buy cold coffee. Toys. What is that? Handcuffs? Bracelets? This would be around 231 kilometers per hour. What would yours be? Don't think it's 300, that's for sure. Unfortunately, the trains do not have uh, speedometers as they do in Europe, the high-speed trains, as some of the trains in Europe have high-speed uh, speedometers, which is rather interesting. Because part of the fun is knowing exactly how fast you're, you're going. Uh, I'm only uh, 10 minutes uh, outside of uh, Kyoto, and uh, train finally seems to be hauling ass as they say. It's called a Super Express and I have no idea why it's called a Super Express because uh, there are about uh, 12 stops along the way and yet even with 12 stops it made that distance in three and a half hours. It's a lovely train but uh, as I say it lacks certain features. It doesn't have a snack bar. Uh, it doesn't uh, have a uh, plan as to where it stops, what time it stops, and uh, I think the general amenities are not up to the standards of the TGV in France and the ICE in Germany. But having said that, it's a uh, can't complain. It's 1436 that I arrived in. Uh Kiro, Kiro, that town made famous by the Kyoto Accord. And uh, if you're Canadian, you know that Liberal Party leader Stefan Dion tied his political future and the future of the political Liberal Party on the Kyoto Accord. They, of course, went down to defeat as Canadians did not jump on the train, so to speak, for the Kyoto Accord. But at least I'm here in Kyoto, and the weather is lovely.
lousy. It's just pouring cats and dogs. And by the way, Stéphane Dion, speaking of dogs, was so committed to the Kyoto Accord that he named his dog, what else? Kyoto. Now let's get over the rain and look at the bright side. This train is going to Osaka. In the uh, lower level of uh, Kyoto uh, Railway Station, which again is like a minor city, uh, you will find uh, an information booth with uh, two volunteers, an older gentleman and uh, an older lady who speak English. Once again, I find uh, the uh, hotel, which uh, advertises to be in the center, is a 50-minute walk uh, from the center, uh, which is rather disappointing. Bus fare is uh, 220, uh, which is uh, about two dollars and fifty cents one way. It's so it's five dollars just to get in and out, which is uh, kind of uh, discouraging when you're paying thirty-five dollars to stay in a capsule hotel. All right, so that's that. I look with envy over here. Let me keep a foot on my bag where it says Prince Hotel and Resorts Welcome Center. It's quite different. They welcome you. They also welcome you and with open arms take you $350 a night. So $350 will get you a welcome center. $35 will get you a capsule hotel that advertises this in the center, but it's a 50 minute walk from the center. There are the two volunteers. That's what I do at the museum, at the Royal British Columbia Museum. It's interesting. You get to talk to a lot of people from all over the world. I'm uh, going to a capsule hotel, and I see McDonald's is uh, adopting that concept too with uh, capsule eating areas. Just big enough for one person. What will they think of next? Go figure this out. Water cascading down. <laughs> I guess now he would uh, come up with that phrase, how do they do that? It's got to be a computer involved somewhere. Most amazing thing, isn't it? Wow. Nothing like uh, getting married on a rainy day.